god. Um, first of all, let's check out this one because I feel like I should. Uh, the folder is it's it's titled um. I didn't actually download this one. It just showed up in my hard drive. It's called Important Message. Um, please read this before 7 p.m. EST. Uh-oh. Hmm. Oh, it just gets straight to the game. And it's on the wrong monitor. Oh, God. You gotta love Monday streams. The Yume Core of Monday streams. Bad audio? That's pretty much it, just terrible audio. You know, and I feel a little better because there's a streamer I know who's also a musician. This bites! This bites! <clears throat> uh, a streamer I know who's also a musician. And they also have issues with they're like a professional streamer, like they do it all the time. You know, million, like thousands of viewers. Um, even they can't get their sound correct after like 13 years of doing it. And they're like, you know, a musician, so it made me feel less bad. Do it. Okay. Well, this is on my right monitor, and I don't know if I can change that, which is upsetting. So I'm going to have to crane my neck. Um... Pressing escape is not an options menu. It is exit the game. It's okay. These games were made over the course of, I believe, if I remember from when I was going to enter this jam, like five days, I think. Three days? Three days. I don't know. If you click the link I have pinned, you'll see. I don't remember. I think three days. So a lot of them won't have working menus. This bites! Bacon lamb, I swear to God. This is not Ape Escape. I will kill you. You may have you mentioned you have a cat. Like right now or in general? Uh, no, I didn't know you owned a cat. Uh, there is nothing that follows you. Right now? After you turn off all the lights in the house. Okay. This bites. I will kill you. Uh. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna. I will just make the cooldown longer. You find that tastes and desires and sound levels can change over time. That's true. If I get better headphones, I'm sure my own personal preference for what my stream sounds like will change. This isn't spooky. This just feels like a normal Monday stream game. Just a normal mystery <laughs> meet. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this just feels like I'm playing LSD Dream Emulator. You wanted to know what that was. How did you not know? Also, hi Alex. Welcome. There is nothing that follows you after you turn off the lights in the house. Okay. You for gore? I see. Now, the door takes you to the same place no matter what. Well, this is... <laughs> oh, God. So many of my sound alerts are also bit alerts, so if people really want to spam them, I've made it way too easy to do so. What a good room. I like this room. I wish this was my wallpaper in my bedroom. All I need is, like, a, a Clippy plushie right here in the corner. Clipper? Clippy? What's his name? You are alone. I mean, yeah, I'm sitting... <laughs> you are alone, Seinfeld thing. Do it. Do it. Why does Twitch keep shutting down my stream? I have no idea. You might need to update your app. Oh god, there's so many doors. Oh, oh, I went through a door on accident. Help, help. Accidental door. Oh, never mind. We're good. I think these lead back to the same place. Yeah, some of these lead to the same place. 
Oh, cock like horse cock. Send your asshole into shock. Is the theme of this stream just... Is it... I should title this... Retitle this stream when I upload the VOD. Uh, chat spam sound alerts. I don't know, I thought maybe that- whoa. What is this texture? That looks like a really wide cat. Or a sloth, maybe? This is so spooky. I thought you said the street- the theme of this stream was horsecock. No. That's, um... Whoa! 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 What? Oh god, the camera does the dusk thing where I can spin it around. Oh, oh god. Oh, oh. Oh, fuck off. What? Oh, it's reversed. Oh, the game crashed. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that, that great entry. All right. I fell for the clickbait. The visuals. Good. I'm going to assume that was intentional. And that was the game saying, go do something else. Uh, one second. One of the ones I downloaded is not here. There's no cock like your cock. Wait. Scratch that. Forget, forget I said that. Don't clip that. Okay. There's this. Uh, this one is... Post-term newborn. I'm sure this will not be offensive in any way. This bites. I know, it really does. I could do better. I could be a better streamer, but I choose not to be. And I apologize. I'll do better. I'll be better, alright? The stream closed again on me saying go do something else. Do it. All right. I'm going to ground you. You're being grounded. One moment. You want to play this game? Yeah. Hey, you want to do that? You want to do this? Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. You can play that game. Do the Mario's. Little Mario. I can ground people? Yeah, I just gotta throw them in a meat grinder. Or an organ grinder. Uh, one moment. Please hold. Please hold while we connect you to the next viewer associate- viewer representative. Uh, channel points. This is, yeah, there's a zero minute cooldown on that. There. It's now a five minute cooldown. You've lost your privileges. You've been punished. Isn't timing out people grounding them, essentially? You just finished watching my Your Last Days video? I'm so sorry. Actually, not really. I guess the intention was to make people sad. Thank you. Thank you for clipping that, even though I asked you not to. You didn't clip the funny Seinfeld thing, or the other funny thing, but no, everybody clipped the horse long. Good. Uh, your phone hates you. I don't think your phone is capable of hate. Unless you've, you know, installed advanced AI on it. In which case, uh, I don't know what to tell you. Let's turn that up a little bit. Can you hear the, the, from the game? What happened to my bacon lamb? I, 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 I ground bacon lamb. Do you hear the splooshing? How loud is the splooshing, chat? 
It's okay, bacon lamb. You can still do it every five minutes. I'm sure there's another alert. If you look hard enough, there's another redemption I have not put a cooldown on that you can um, do a gotcha with. Tidy tidy. Tidy whitey? It's warm here, if a little humid. Oh god. Good sounds. The placenta feels off a little. Excuse me? But you feel really good. It's much scarier outside. You won't go outside. Very loud splooshing. Okay. Blind darkness. Here, you know what? I know what to do. That's not sound? Is it music? Oh, of course. Yeah, that, that looks like a sensible volume. <laughs> don't, don't ever type that again. Blind darkness. Complete kingdom of red matter. The blood gurgles and flows pleasantly from the organs. I'm like a bag of flesh that has to find itself in strange circumstances. Okay. The umbilical cord feeds me. Is this just like first person womb simulator? Breaking away from it is akin to instant death. The umbilical cord is a great symbol of intimacy. I don't think a baby would be thinking these things. Your mother's heartbeat is your lullaby. You always wanted to see her heart. And see her. But for this, you will have to sacrifice a lot. Can you survive this? You can touch the uterus. Smooth to the touch. It protects you from external influences like a shield. This is... This is a good start. This is very mystery neat. Oh, God. Sub-only chat? Am I in sub-only chat? Since when am I in sub-only chat? What are you talking about? You may this feels fucking weird. <laughs> well, we're here for the ride. I think it's supposed to make you uncomfortable. Your home in your paradise. You put your hands in the amniotic fluid. Warm, pleasant water. She fills your body with inner warmth. However, she's starting to smell bad. Uh... How long have I been in sub-only mode? What? When did I... I didn't turn that on. Oh, Cappy, did that get turned on when, 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 the, when the bots were attacking? No. No, there was people talking yesterday who weren't... Hmm. It's a small price to pay for complete comfort, but soon you must leave him. Can you do something like this? Time will show as long as you stay here. Slow, I assume. Rest in peace, bacon lamb. Mucus slid along the inside of the uterus. Something was moving away, something was growing back. But the result was always the same, the liquid filled everything to the brim. This liquid made me feel unbearably sleepy. I didn't turn it on either. Sometimes I fantasize about things happening outside of my mother. <laughs> I don't have any knowledge about the real world. Therefore, I can hardly imagine what awaits me ahead. I can only imagine blinding white light. Water goes away. You've been sitting still. Your mom is in a lot of pain. You can feel her trembling even here. Space here compresses and decompresses. You're being evicted. You were trying to tell me you were in sub-only jail. You were, <laughs> you were trying to do SOS? How long? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. 
Yeah, that wasn't supposed to be on. Um, I apologies to anyone who was trying to talk to me at the start of stream. <laughs> I don't know how sub only mode got on. I don't use that. You close your eyes. Heartbeat helps you calm down. I want to stay here forever, Mom. To be a part of you. I can't stand it if they separate us completely. The pain of losing my little paradise will kill me completely. You opened your eyes. Heartbeat like a pendulum. My heart beats like the beat of a drum. Sorry. He sounded the alarm bell on his ears. It warmed me. He was scary. He demonstrated the fact that I am a living organism. Complete love for my entire being. According to the mod actions panel, you turned on sub only chat 18 hours ago. I must have done that accidentally. I don't even think I was live 18 hours ago. Yeah, I wasn't live 18 hours ago. You make whore. That's that's what mystery meets all about. Hello, Krypus. I want to kill the child. I think that's the wrong lesson to take away from this. I think that makes you the problem. Is you my core just red and black? Your mom is suffering. You have to do something, after all. She suffers because of you. Go outside. No, you can't. You're in a body that's slowly wasting away. Is there any point in resisting your fate? I want to break this vicious circle. I won't be able to leave the womb. The frightening unknown has made me mad. Let's just fucking get out. Is this game a yo mama joke gone wrong? Yume Kor is your mom. I am not your mother. Do you feel your mother's cramps? She's screaming. Now that you're free of jail, my messages are being missed. Life is truly suffering. I'm not... <laughs> what do, you, do you want me to read every single message? I don't... <laughs> I can't catch every message. I'm sorry. Yes, sensory issues. I'm sorry you have sensory issues. You feel it in the slightest movements of the uterus. Pain, fear, rejection. It's as if your mother's emotions have become your own. She's afraid of losing you and dying here. But what are you doing to save her and yourself? I think this should get some points for being unique and unsettling, sure. The vines of self-hatred bloom day after day. See, I've been trying to complain about it for an hour. Well... Uh... Call 1-800-F-U... That's 1-800-F-Y-O-U. Uh, whoever's on the end of that phone number will be happy to hear you complain about a cat girl who streams on the internet. You've already gotten used to it, like you get used to breathing. Fear and guilt have become your faithful companions. Your stubbornness is pointless, you're slowly killing her. Please, Mom. I don't want to leave you, but I can't hurt you that much. Go outside. You don't have enough space. The cervix is pressing on you from all sides. You are already too big. I don't want to be birthed again. I'm still recovering from being birthed the first time. It's difficult for you to go outside. Mom screams in severe pain. Oh, and I complain. Okay. I see chat member. Thank you. Uh, Crisis, if you're still here, I don't think I want to use any mods. Except for the costume stuff. If you want to look through and see if there's any, like, costumes or whatever... Feel free. Um, I will send you the, the collection thing, though. I'm not going to use any. Actually, here. I'll do that. I'll, I'll do that at the end of stream. <laughs> send you the workshop collection. Just subscribe to whatever the fuck's in it, and I'll use whatever that is. Have we decided on a time? Uh, whatever works for you. I, I'm leaving it up to you. I'm leaving it up to you because I don't want to like force you into a thing, and also sometimes you don't. Is the 
show up if I pick the time. <laughs> you don't know how much time has passed. It seems like you're stuck forever. You start to suffocate. Dang. <laughs> it's okay. I do the same thing. So do all of my friends. Everything here moves in rhythm with the mother's breathing. She's breathing heavily, trying to get you out of her body. Like you're a horrible parasite. This is going on a lot longer than I thought it would. You started hearing strange sounds. Ah! Oh god, that's blinding. They united together with the light. Glorious symphony, symphony of birth. You have become part of the world. What lies ahead for you? You can't carve the pumpkins you bought on an impulse. Oh, I'm sorry. You get distracted homie hopping. I know. You can't commit to a homie. I understand. Most people I know have that issue. See, I have like three people I regularly interact with. Like I'll send DMs to for no reason. And that's about it. Or like, you know, text. That was something. Um, it didn't unsettle me, but it seemed to unsettle quite a lot of you. So I would say it did its job quite well. Um, here, let's do something on the complete other spectrum. Three is a good amount. I mean, I have other friends, but those are like the people I just like message out of nowhere, you know? You simply don't have friends. Oh, God. I'm sure you have friends. You just don't realize it. Where's your DMs? I do DM you. I gave up on DMing you. I gave up. You you have too many homies. I'm not an important one. This is all this is all just like me throwing fake shade, by the way. Do not take anything I say seriously, chat. Bryce is a wonderful person, sometimes. My heart beats to the beat of a drum. Reset trend. Oh, God. Please capture the game. Uh, cool. This doesn't work with game or window capture. This is a thousand percent true. Okay. Okay. We'll, um, we just display capture, I guess. Hi, this is my desktop. Currently. Please ignore the Agritsuko. Thank you. It's better be worth it. This better fucking be worth it. It's not going to be worth it. I know it's not. But it better be. Butter, butter be. <clears throat> you don't have friends who are close enough for you to for them to reach out. I see. We need more drama between each other so we can then have a make out. I mean, make up session. I like make up sessions. Press spacebar to start. Can you hear me? Hang on. I'm pressing the spacebar to start. So that's great. What about enter? Anything? Controller? Start on the controller? Anything? Oh! Oh god! Oh! Oh god, I'm glad the audio wasn't working. <laughs> oh, I almost shit myself. Um... I can't get this to pick up the game audio. That's annoying. Uh, yeah, that's very spooky. Hang on, let me restart. See if it'll pick up the audio. I love I love having drama between homies, because then you get to um, have, you know, fake like divorce settlings. Can you hear the audio? For some reason, Yume sends me pictures of bananas every nine days to the second. And it's confusing because she's allergic to bananas, so I don't know if the messages are out of spite or something. It's me crying for help. 
chat member. It's my cry for help to free me from this world, the suffering that is life. I still remember you in particular sent me a message with like 12 images of spaghetti and there was one banana as well. So that was interesting. Um, okay, let me turn on my desktop audio. Can I just not eat bananas? Yes, I can't eat bananas. I'm allergic to bananas. They make me swell up. Well, uh, hold I, I, I love when games don't work correctly. So that was interesting. I mean, it was. It was definitely interesting. You know, that, that's my summation of the situation. Uh, I think it sums it up pretty good. Can you hear the game? This is Hypnorinth. But could I take it in? The banana? <laughs> I see. Um, I could try. Would you like me to? Would you like me to get back to you on that? An entity, an entity pursues you. Escape into the maze. Press escape to show your cursor. Oh, was to move. E to look. Spacebar. B to toggle head bob. Oh no. Not one of these. What pursues me? Okay. Can we get a rain check on that? Um, yeah. Yeah, just let me know. I'm, I'm free to be commissioned at any time. If I avoided the alimony and dodged the taxes today? Yes. Every day. We appear to be... You try to open the gate, but you cannot. You have no hands. Oh. I don't have any hands, chat. What the fuck is happening? Oh! Hello. The entity will not let you leave. Okay. I wasn't trying to leave. Yeah, just remind me about that in like nine days. Set an alarm on your phones. Remind me about the banana insertion and I'll get back to you. Okay, chat? I'll check with a medical professional first. I need you to know I don't have mouse controls for the camera. I found a skull. Should now lurk and wait for those weirdos who pay their alimony and taxes. Okay. Enjoy using the sucker command. Sucker. Oh, come on. What do you want? Leave me alone. Ugh. Mouse skull. Is that what it looked like? I couldn't tell. My, uh, one of my cousins used to have my skulls. I didn't try to open the gate. Okay. Oh, it's a dead end. I mean, I like the aesthetics, that's for sure. An owl? I remember, um... When I was a kid, they had us dissect, air quotes, dissect owl pellets. Do you guys know what those are? The, like, owl puke stuff? I probably don't want to go that way. Dead end. Oh, this music's pretty cool. Is the volume alright, chat? Really squashed for a mouse, but an owl would have a beak. It's good? Okay. I don't usually use my desktop audio. That I hate using my desktop audio. Oh, hello. This hand some stranger. Ha! Ah, offers to lend you a hand. Do you accept? Um... Okay. 
Perhaps now you can find your way through this maze. Oh! Um. I have equipped baby hands. Alright. Oh. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> this is good hands. Yep. They sure have some to spare. I don't know. You don't. I, we don't know these. This world. These people. Maybe. Maybe that's the right amount of hands. Green screen comped in a little bit. Yeah. I'm kind of glad they're not like rotoscoped hands that rotate. You know what this makes me think of? Hi uh, a game I want to play on stream someday. Uh, Hylix. Specifically Hylix 2. But... The first Hylix is just nonsense. Um... I like how I'm walking like this. This is this how is this how normal people walk? Because I've never walked. I've never walked this way. Can't talk. Hello. I cannot harm or help you, dreamer. The creators did not choose me. Cool. Thanks anyway, dude. <laughs> I like the fucking organ in this. That's that's cool. Whoa. I don't. Where am I going? Oh, hello. The develop. Yeah, basically. Dev and chat did not choose. Strange candle burns before you, will you take it? Sure, man. <laughs> Steal the flame reveals secret passages. Cool. I wouldn't hold a candle with my bare hand. Well, I would. Um, but I don't think most people would, I guess, is what I'm trying to get at. Oh, that's the... Yeah, you don't want to drop it. They want to make sure all the wax gets exclusively on their thumb. Oh, shit, there it is. If, if this thing catching me resets everything I've been doing, I am done. Okay. I didn't get caught. We don't need to find out. What the... Hello? Rip. Oh, man, rip. Oh, hey. Skullboy offers you a cigarette. Do you smoke? Smoke them if you got them. Thanks. Thanks, Skullboy. I've equipped a cigarette now. That's, that's wonderful. Oh, I'm actually smoking it down. I'm smoking this cigarette in one long inhale. What the fuck? Also, apparently I'm smoking it with my chest. You ever heard of a candle job? I like candle jobs. Uh, please stop being behind me. Thank you. Maybe I just have my hands up really- Yeah, I'm doing a T-Rex walk. What the fuck? Is that an advertisement for this developer's other game? I think? I assume? Cool. Oh, fuck off. 
No, 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 no. God damn it. Well, it didn't restart me, so... I'll go try one more time. Hmm. Hopefully you won't get the lung cancer ending. I'm aiming for that in real life. I'm... I'm actually doing an any percent run. I'm sorry, that's... <laughs> joking. I'm joking. It is a rare achievement, though. What's my shred? Um... Nicotine patches, 24-7, smoke an entire pack of cigarettes at once, at least twice a day. You know, I just shove all of them in your mouth and light them. Yeah, I'm not going down there again. Any major skips? No. You gotta work hard for this ending, okay? You gotta put in the work and earn it. Uh, the first right or the second right? Uh, right or left, chat? Oh god. Uh, uh, left, okay. Oh, hey look, it worked. He tells you of a place deep in the fog. Who does? Oh, hello. Hello, cheese man. Do not go or return to the maze. You're not the boss of me. Fuck you, cheese guy. Can't catch me. No. Oh, that was an ending. Okay. I think that's enough of that. <laughs> Good lord. Um. Okay. Let me. Give me a second. I want desktop audio. There we go. Hypnorinth, what a game. Cool. So far, everything I have picked I have uh has been slightly disappointing. I actually kinda I kinda like that. I, I, I enjoyed that. I feel like with some actual time that could be something, maybe. Probably not, but it's nice. Especially for made in three days. The the vibe is cool. Can you not be on this monitor? Can you go on my other monitor? How do I not how do I unfull screen this game? Please. Please. No, 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 let me pick the monitor that the game plays on. It's not even my primary monitor. I'm fine. Yeah, no, I, I just... In my brain, I feel like... Like, that's an easy thing to do with Unity. Is have a startup menu that lets you pick your monitor. You know, and some basic graphical settings about the game. That's a very quick and easy thing to do in the Unity... I don't know. I shouldn't complain. I didn't make a game. These people actually made an entry. I didn't even do that. Um, what is this? This is called Hill City. Um, e and space seem to be things. There is no audio to speak of. That's okay. 
What the? Does the wallpaper change when I'm not in the room? Hmm. Oh, I see. Whoa. How do I interact with things? Is T to interact? Space? Hmm. I like that guy up there. He looks happy. Oh, hey, it's the guy. Hey, what's up? You, um... You good? Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Did that go that ghost screamed my skin off? Also, why is presumably my father just sitting just sitting there watching TV while my skin gets screamed off my bones? What a bad father. Uh... Can I leave? No. I'll just walk it up, you know. Yeah. Good dads know best. Um... Okay. Can I like do anything? I know I'm but myself to blame for any of these things. The lighting is strangely well done for um everything else. Except for it doesn't look good on like these. Um I'm not spooked and I'm just kind of confused. However, oh, oh, I see. Um, okay. How do I? I don't understand how to like do a thing, if that makes sense. There doesn't seem to be any way to, like, interact with stuff. I know it's a space down there, but I don't even... This one has a pause menu. Um... Hmm. Okay. Flashlight. Yeah. Uh... Door? Oh, enter. Okay. So I have an axe? Oh my god. Did I kill my dad? No. Uh, what, what, what does this axe do for me? Oh, the paintings on the wall blink. I didn't see that. Maybe I can kill that ghost. Hmm. Can I break the lock? No. Okay. Um, oh, hi. Okay. <laughs> I don't. 
I don't know. Uh, seems a little, a little overly obtuse. Oh, bless you. Hang on. Apparently the goal is to escape from the house, which I do remember now that I'm reading this. I don't quite understand. Yeah, um, the vibes are neat. I'm not really sure what to do. Oh. I looked it up in the dis it, the developer had to say in the comments you attack the painting with an axe when the ghost pops up. Cool. Yeah, that's I I, I would not have tried that. I don't know. I'm 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 easily won over by ah, it's Lark. So I do like the vibes other than that. Uh, okay. However, like, like, look at this. Mm. For something made in three days, this is cool. But it doesn't feel particularly unique. When does the ghost pop up? Just keep attacking the painting. Uh, okay. Oh, all right, sure. Is there a way to not get caught by the ghost? There we go. Oh, God. Yeah, I guess that'll work. Um, is there... What, what else do I do? Who are you? Why does this person, like, just not care? I assume that's, like, my father or something. Anything in the fridge? No. Uh, mute background music would have been nice. Oh, is this Simon Says? Good bird. Yeah. Oh yeah, the big bird, huh? <laughs> oh sweet Jesus. <laughs> okay. Um I was not expecting that. <laughs> oh that, that, that was good. <laughs> Just a bird with Huge yitties. Do you think that's what Big Bird would look like in real life? Uh, so far, the only thing I gotta say is objectively, like, not good. 
is having to wait for the ghost thing to appear. Uh, that that kind of sucks. Okay, I'll try one more time, and then I'll move on. Okay, there's the sound, and then a little while after the sound, the ghost will pop out of the painting and go. Oh, are those the bird's eyes? Like that, that bird that I... Oh. Must be. Okay. My dad. My dad. I assume that's our father. Fort in heaven. Holy fucking crap. Our Father who art in heaven. Holy fucking crap, Lois. Uh, how do I make the thing appear again? Like the music box? Was, was it a music box? Oh. Oh, my axe is gone. How am I supposed to murder anything? Uh, hmm. It's a pleasant melody. Oh, there's the key. Look at him go. Oh, look at him. I love him. Okay, hang on, I shouldn't. Oh. Oh, good, a maze. Oh. F no. Oh. Okay, oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, <laughs> Oh, he's not very smart. Okay. Wait, stay. Please stay within the bounds of the level's walls. Thank you. Uh oh, uh oh. Jesus. Fuck. Okay. I have no idea why that's called Hell or Hill City, but. Despite my uh, misgivings, that probably ended up being my favorite one so far. Um, let's check out Curse of the Damned King. I'm sure this will be wonderful, and we'll open on my middle monitor, which is my primary monitor, as set by my system preferences and the port it's plugged into. Nope. Nope, it opened on the right monitor again. Okay. Cool. You're gonna like this one, chat. Um, this is some good fingers. <laughs> oh my. Okay. What are we doing here? How do we... Do we do anything? Is this just the game? Oh. Hello? Uh, I wonder if this is just like a virus. Well, it's just some nice fingers. Oh, oh they're moving again. What on earth? Huh? 
<laughs> I'm in just chatting. Thank you, sorry. I ended up playing the entirety of Andy and Layla yesterday and just chatting. Do the Mario's! <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. What what am I even doing here? What what do I what? Okay, let me let me let me try launching that again. Okay. <laughs> Spooky fingers. Gyrating fingers. Oh, there was a sound. Did you hear that? The game gave me one sound. Okay. Wait, let me look at the... I'll look at the page again. Uh Not all games are created equal, chat. Oh! This is a VR game. Oh. I mean, I could stick the headset on. Should I try sticking the headset on? Oh, God. Okay. Um, give me a sec. I was not expecting that. I probably did this intentionally. You know, I actually have a headset charged because I wanted to test out something for a stream for um, tomorrow, which I don't think I'm going to end up doing, but... For, for these purposes, that's cool. Give me, give me just a sec, Jet. I forgot about this. Good thing I had it charged. Okay. This was definitely probably not going to work. Uh, where are my headphones? Hopefully this game works for sitting VR. Okay, I'll give it like uh, I'll give it a brief try because I don't want to spend all day trying to get hardware working live on stream. Um, because that's not fun, is it? Man, that explains so much. Please bear with me, chat. I, this is my first time streaming. You may think I've been doing so for a year. However, I am killed and reborn every day. That's not true. Drum roll, please. Oop. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Um, is the thing? The button? How do I... This button? Should work fine. Uh, where... Might be difficult to hear me chat, I apologize. Test lane. There. I don't think this will work. Come on. Three, two, eight, seven, oh, three. Uh, 
Hmm. This may or may not work. We'll see here in a moment. Connection lost. Okay. Uh, anything? No? Maybe? Okay, what if I try this? No, not that one. Oh. Maybe? Oh god. Oh lord. <laughs> I think the bigger question is, would this even be worth it if I got it to work? I'm surprised somebody tried to make a VR game for this jam, honestly. Oh my god, the menu is so light. Bear with me. That's the wrong thing. Okay, we're getting somewhere, Chet. Maybe not. I'll try one more time. Close the game. And keep the thing on and go. Don't think this will work. Oh, oh, it's working. Oh shit. Okay. Uh. Okay. Didn't didn't expect that to work. Can you see this chat? Yeah, it looks like you can. That's that's amazing. Okay, I didn't expect that to work. One second. Uh, okay, can you still hear me? I switched the microphone to my microphone. Or to the, um, the Oculus microphone. Windows are. Yes, you can. Okay. I wasn't uh, expecting to do VR, uh, but that's fine. Playback. Uh, Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, computer is unhappy at the moment. One moment. This is probably not worth it. Don't say, you can't say I don't try my best. Okay. 
I can't read chat with this, so I'll hope. Oh, God. Uh, is it working? Are we going to... Oh, I think I have to tab back into the game. Hang on. Okay. Okay, let me just restart it. Close, please. Please close. Don't make me open tab. Just, just close. Uh. Lost cause fallacy. I love fallacy. Could you close the game? Thank you. One more try. Because I didn't expect it to just work like it. Is it going to work? No, it's not going to work. No, it's not going to work. Hello? Mic audio? Anything? No. Oh, yeah, no, it's picking up. Can you hear me?
indeed. Uh, this is definitely not worth it at this point. Yeah, no. Not worth it. Yeah, no, it's... This is what I get for trying. I give up. Too much. Too much work. Not enough payoff. Definitely not enough payoff, no matter what. Oh, the game launches after I give up. Sure. Cool. <laughs> Good game. Why? What must I do? It's it's like it's like not showing him the headset. That's kind of funny. But it's like recognizing him. Oh my god. I never give up, do I? Can't I just give up? This happens every time I try to do anything VR, it just doesn't work well. That is the lesson I'm learning, is VR is never worth it. Unless you have a wired headset. It's just never worth it. Ever. End of story.
Vamos. Whatever for real this time. Colors over there. The game launches only when the headset is not on. I don't understand. We'll move on. I'm done. I give up. I don't care anymore. I don't care anymore. I don't care. I don't care. Maybe I'll try to get it to work on my own time and do a, just a recording. Um, let's check out Paul's last remains. I put way too much effort into trying to get that to work. I don't know why. I have issues. This one appears to be made in Godot. That's interesting. It's the same engine um, Royalty Squad is made in, actually. Uh, is he gonna, gonna capture the thing? No, we're gonna have this again. There we go. That works. At least screen capture works, I think. Yep. And the audio seems to work. I can't hear. Hang on. Set my sound back to this. Okay. Paul's lost remains. Sure. Let's see. Let's see. Um. <laughs> okay. What did you just hear? <laughs> A very shitty screen. I think my roommate just said boo. Was that Paul screaming? have to check up on him. Okay, let's check up on Paul. One second. Uh, Mike, filters. Oh, I have the noise gate on again. There we go. That, that explains why things were confusing me. Okay. Uh, Paul, you good? Good, good movement. Good. I have to mash the WASD keys. What is going on? Oh, God. Um, let's try launching that again. Don't tab out of that game. I must stream these things because I hate myself. <laughs> At least we got to hear that again. Uh, that was definitely Paul. Yeah, yeah. Paul. Paul's not good. Hi, I'm Paul. You know the. Anybody remember that the, the monkey from the thing? No, that's just the movement. Yeah, that's just the movement. You have to mash the movement keys. Oh, here, my controller appears to work. That's weird. Where is Paul gone? And what is all this blood? I have to find him. I don't think he's alive. I don't think you need to look for Paul. With that amount of blood, he's not going to live long. And you appear to be in the middle of the woods. Ugh. Okay, controller it is. <laughs> you picked up Paul's right arm. Alright, Paul. We'll put you back together. I appear to see more of Paul over in the distance, but I'll wait. Nice torso. Chest, sorry. It's just his chest. It's not his entire torso. It's somebody else's, you know, abdomen and such. Um, 
It's got that retro, you know, it's trying to do the retro, like, PS1, PS2 horror stuff. With the visuals. Which are very popular, and I do enjoy. Hello. Oh. He placed Paul's chest on the cross. Am I trying to resurrect Paul? He placed Paul's right arm on the cross. Okay. This is like Slender, but with necromancy. Sorry, necrophilia. He picked up Paul's right leg. Hello, nice blood. Thanks, I made it myself. He picked up Paul's left leg. Okay, now we just need his left arm. Welcome to Mystery Meat. Today with a spooky flavor. I assume the leg is over there. Or the arm? What was it? Oh, come on. Just let me walk through there. This is weird. I haven't played a first-person game with a controller in a long time. Hi, Frago. Also, hello, Eloise. I didn't say your name. I did wonderful. I did not make this. I lied. I shouldn't lie. These are... <laughs> these games were recently made for a, a game jam that I was going to enter, but ran out of time to do so. But I still wanted to play entries. To see what people did. I hope you're all doing well. You guys missed me faffing about with trying to get one of them to work in VR. It looks like Gordon. It looks like Gordon Freeman. Oh god. Yeah, I get it. I, 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 get, the, I get the picture. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you. Thank you. You need to find more of Paul. Didn't I find his arm? Or was that his... Did I find his head? Where's his arm? Yeah, we love murder. Uh, how are we doing? Uh, we're doing okay. I didn't see that at first. Um, there was a run button. So far, there's been a few interesting things. Uh, quite a few, actually. Uh, I'm just a little uh, frustrated from the VR thing not working. It seemed like it was about to, and then my computer just... I really need to get a another uh, one of those USB-C fiber optic cables. Or even just a just some sort of fiber optic cable in general. So I can use the headset wired. Because... Trying to do it wireless has not ended well the past like few times I've tried to do VR wireless. Oh, it was right next to the head that I picked up. Okay. I picked up Paul's left arm. Cool. It's a little weird that this, like, sensed my controller, and it's, like, overriding the mouse input. I have to, if I wanted to use the keyboard, I'd have to, like, mash. Let's see. I'm sure you can probably hear that. Is my keyboard always audible? I feel like it didn't used to be. He placed Paul's left arm on the cross. Paul? Paul, you are complete now. <laughs> you want a reward who murdered Paul? I have no idea. He screamed in the night. Paul, you are complete now. Paul? Oh. <laughs> Oh, what the hell happened to you? <laughs> oh. <clears throat> I have to run. Maybe I can reach my car. Wh why did I? Oh. All right, bye, Paul. <laughs> I 
you know, A for effort. For something made in, I forget the limit, three or four or five days, one of those, in such a small span of time, uh, you know, it's, it's neat. Uh-oh. Uh, where's my car? This is about the quality of horror thing that you expect. Oh, I see. I can see the the outline for where the skybox is. Lol funny. Yes. Oh, there it is. He sound out of shape, Paul. I like how we put him together on a cross and then said, Paul, what happened to you? Like, we were not part of this. We had no- we had no stake in this. I made it. The end. Thanks for playing. You- you know what? Thank you for making this. Nanning's Games. There you go. You gave me a good chuckle. Um... Good lord. Uh, let's play a game called Quack. I'm sure this will be exceedingly spooky. Um, honestly, I just look for ones that look interesting, funny, or like, you know, visually interesting, funny, just something. Something I would like, whatever that may be. Settings. There are no settings. Okay, <laughs> the settings menu is a lie. They probably intend to update it after... What the? Whoa. Uh... Fuck. I can crouch. Oh, that's so loud. Oh, that is... Oh. Hang on. Name of this game... The name of this executable for this game is called Duck Horror. It's still... Unmeasure immeasurably loud. Let's turn it down as quiet as I can. Oh, there we go. In what ma in what way does this look ducky? Oh shit. What the fuck are you? E. Why does your face just say E? Alright. E. I. I like the E man. Um. How do I. Oh, you can. Oh, hang on. This. Okay. There's way more physics than I was expecting. Does somebody want to scan that QR code? I'll just sort of pause here for a moment if you do. I don't know if it's bright enough to pick it up, but... Alright. Wait, what? I mean, there's a QR code if you got a phone out. I don't know. Probably nothing. Could be a virus. Okay. No more. You can't read it? Okay. Okay! <laughs> Did I make a duck sound when I landed? Am I a duck? Back for F duck. I... <laughs> Good lord. 
Um, I think I might be like a rubber duck, maybe? I don't really know. I hope this developer didn't have any plans to make this like a big game because they made it in Unity, so that's not gonna work out well. Oh. Whee! No. <laughs> oh shit, come on! Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Rick roll? I, I highly doubt it was a Rick roll. I don't, what, what, what year do you think this was made in? Why would it be? God, if that's a Rick roll, I don't even. I don't know what to think about the world. We're strangers to love. Apparently these boxes are too heavy to pick up. Scare one. I mean, to be fair, you don't need like jump scares for a game to be scary. In fact, I don't really like jump scares. I think they're a cheap method of horror. But yeah, I'm, I'm not seeing. I mean, it's a little unsettling, I guess. Why does that one say E? Is E for enemy? This is just like. Honestly, this is just, like, more fascinating than anything. Oh. R. But I guess I got picked up. Is there a duck in a box? I... What? A duck in a box? Is that a meme I don't know? I have no idea what you're talking about. Must go this way. Maybe. Can I can I pull? Oh yeah. I can kind of climb this. Okay. Oh, oh god. It just seems like a atmospheric physics based puzzle game. I guess being picked up by giant weird children with letters on their faces is kind of spooky. I don't know, the vibe, especially with the music, oh fuck, is more relaxing than anything. What do you want? <laughs> Am I trying to like leave the room? Here, I'll let me, let me. I do like that I make a quack noise when I land. You just got eed. Thanks. I don't know what the murder song is. Fuck. I feel like I'm playing only up. Ugh. So you can stand on these, kind of. Maybe not? QR code on one of the big boxes? Sure. 
Give me a second. Next time I'm over there. How did I... Okay, how come I can sometimes stand on these? Game really wants me to go this way. Is it very laggy? But I don't know. I don't have any drop frames. Uh, I say Hillshire, you say farms. Hillshire. In fact, it's uh, both frame rate and connection wise, it seems pretty smooth today. Everyone, my it seems to be on your end, chat member. Uh, does anybody want to scan this? Uh, I don't know where my phone is, or I would just do it myself. You got it? Okay. It's a Google Drive. Watch me get a virus. I mean, don't download anything. I would hope it's just files from the developer. Oh, God. It's something. Can you send the link in stream chat? Please. <laughs> yeah, put it in stream chat, and I'll share it with regular chat. Or just post it in the... Okay. <laughs> or, or just post it in <laughs> in the chat room, sure. Uh, spongy looking dude. What the hell? What is this? This is what the QR code lent to? Just this image? Looks like a gingerbread man. Okay. <laughs> Photo 500. All right. The lore intensifies. Do not, do not get, please do not get invested in this game. I implore you. Uh, can I, can I like push this? I feel like this is supposed to work. Like, I feel like the point of this is to leave the room. People call a... We don't need to get Matthew Patrick involved in this. Um... Weird. Oh, hang on, there's a... Oh, I see. Oh, fuck that. Yeah, I'm not... Let me, let me check if I'm right first. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so I think... Maybe? Yeah. Um... I think I need to... Not. I don't need to do that. I need... I think I need to insert this into that plane, and if I insert enough of these in, I will be able to fly the plane out of the room. And I have to hold left click the entire time I have this, which is fun. I don't need to? No. Hello, E-child. Happy birthday, Nia. Once again. Welcome to your birthday house. Um, oh no, child. When the, what, what do you, what? If that key is not where I just dropped it, I am not, I am done. Yeah, it's not there. 
Okay, well that was something. Um, I don't know why that's called quack. Duck horror. Yeah, I don't. I don't quite. Um... Don't quite see how that was duck related. Uh, what else do I have here? Um, the lighthouse. Okay, we'll check this out. We Twitch crashed. What happened? We solve world hunger. Uh, here we go. Another. Oh, this one's Godot. Okay. It's not quite full screen. You can see a bit of uh, pixels that don't fit down there at the bottom. It's kind of funny. This game takes just a few minutes and is designed to be played in one session. Okay. The lighthouse. This looks familiar. There's no way I've played this before, right? No, because these games are supposed to be made and submitted during this screen game. Dear applicant, we are pleased to inform you that your application for the position of Lighthouse Keeper has been approved. We've enclosed all the necessary instructions in a separate letter at the Lighthouse. Also, there are animatronics uh, that walk around the facility at night. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, please locate and follow these instructions diligently. Rest assured, your vigilance serves a crucial purpose for the coastal community's safety. Best regards, blank. Blank Blankington. Professor of blank. Uh, there is a million filters on. That's fine. It's going to be great for the bit, right? I think a bird just, like, flew into the window. There's a jump. Look how insignificant the jump is. I, I kind of appreciate that, honestly. It's like they use somebody else's, um... engine. Has your birth been good, Nia? Press E to interact. You got it. Welcome, Lighthouse Keeper. Your responsibilities are equip yourself, keep the flashlight on at all times, inspect the lamp, watch for any ships in trouble across the sea, check that all fuses are intact. At the end of the day, maintain detailed log of all observations. P.S. Don't stress over strange noises. It's an old building. Uh-huh. So this is... is this like Voices of the Void, but you're in a lighthouse? Because I actually, I think that would actually, why is, is, I could be wrong, but is there a game, the fuses look alright, cool. Is there a game that entails keeping watch over a lighthouse is like a, you know, I mean sure spooky stuff can happen, but mainly as a simulation. I feel like that's something somebody should do. You know, like you stay at the lighthouse if you, if you see people coming or strange stuff, I don't know. I don't know what people that work at lighthouses do. Having a little party with your bud? Hell yeah. That's the best kind of birthday parties. The ones where it's just like you and two other people. The game looks like it has been drawn. Um, I think it just has a heavy amount of filters on. Uh, which kind of do give it like a, a sketched look. Which is nice. It's got... Um... What's this called? It's a technique that they used to use a lot in older games on older computers to give the illusion of like more colors with the, with the pixels here. Um, dithering, thank you. Why do I forget that every time? The, the dithering helps give it... Fuzz is not... Okay, Fuzz Dungeon. Hello, can anyone hear me? Oh, that's good static. Marion speaking. Is everything all right? Hey, Marion. Um, yeah, I'm the new lighthouse keeper. Just wanted to check uh, the radio, make sure it's good. 
Release the radio in case of an emergency. Okay, sorry. Jeez. Um. The dithering goes a lot. I imagine. The actual. Let's see. Yeah, look. So if you look at the actual textures there, it's just a few colors. Pretty low res, but when you add a bunch of filters on top, like a static filter like this has, it gives it that like drawn look that a lot of PS1 games have, like Silent Hill sometimes, especially on like a CRT TV. CRT TV. Uh, let's go check the lamp. Oh, oh. <laughs> The, the jump is still enough to, um... <laughs> break the game. So that's good. Even the smallest jump is enough of a jump to break any game, which will never cease to amuse me. But you gotta have a jump, because players get bored without a jump. I'm not gonna fall off the stairs, I don't want a concussion. The lamp is fully functional. Cool. Right mouse button to zoom. I'm not like that far from shore. Oh, you can kind of see the light like shining on the skybox. I mean on the um, clouds, I guess. Huh. That's interesting. Okay, well, I guess we just go to sleep now. Or not. Uh... Hello? Uh, where's the... Oh, the log. Here we go. I don't watch for any ships in trouble. Fuse box. Inspire. I guess we didn't... Monitor for distress signals. I don't know how to do that. Uh... progress the video game? I assumed I had to, like, write in this journal. But it doesn't seem to be the case. Uh, where's the dryer? Oh, do I gotta do hang drying again? I hate hang drying my clothes. Makes me think of when I was a kid. I don't... There's no crouching. Um... Oh, it's a pause menu, that's nice. Yeah, I... Hmm. Is the sun, like, actually setting? I don't think so. I think it's a static image. Uh, I mean, look, I'm a, I'm 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 a, I'm a sucker for this sort of visual style. It looks even better when you're not like up close on the screen. Like if I was watching this on a TV, this would look really cool. I imagine this looks neat uh, from the viewer perspective. If you're into this sort of thing. But, um... Sort of confused. I was I was getting into it. I was like, this is neat. Alright. I could see there being a game about staying in a lighthouse and spooky stuff happens. 
It will forever stay day. Okay. Okay. Seems like it might. Um. My body lies over the ocean. My body lies over the sea. I'm no good at astral projection. So bring back my body to me. Bring back, bring back, go oh bring back my body to me, to me. Bring back, bring back, go oh bring back my body to me. Maybe if I walk down the stairs instead of jumping down them like a lunatic. Maybe there was a trigger I missed. Um... I don't know why it told me I could zoom. There didn't seem to be any reason to zoom. I mean, I like a good zoom. In a, in a video game, don't get me wrong. It's weird how slow it zooms in. Maybe, maybe this is just it. Uh. I was kind of hoping I could just walk into the ocean. Good way to end the game. Um, hmm. Everything looks all right. Oh, I just had to stare at the horizon. Okay. I had to zoom into the horizon for long enough. That was not clear to me. Ay, ay, ay. <clears throat> the distress signal appeared again around midnight, and again, once again, a false alarm. The mainland is still investigating. Okay. Hmm, the last entries are strange. A little bit, yeah. Strange stuff happens in the middle of nowhere. Hang on. Oh. I overslept. Damn. I should go up and start my shift. Hope there is no ship nearby. What's with the blackout? What blackout? Uh oh. Why does the camera stop working? Oh, come on. I have to click into the window. I have to hold the left mouse button to move the camera. Cool. Great. Why did that happen? wasn't doing that before. There were blacked out words. I have no idea. I did not make this game nor to have I played it beforehand. Um, let's unfull screen this. There we go. Okay. Okay, that's better. I should go up and start my shift. Alright, sure. Oh, you mean in the, the log? I don't know, they're just like redacted, you know, the, the SCP thing. Spooky government files, you, you redact the things. Because you don't want people to read it. I kind of like the sway on the flashlight, weirdly. It's not very realistic, but I like it. 
cares about realism when you're playing a game? That's not why you play games. Well, it's not why I do. Yeah, everything seems to be working all right up here. Yep, yep, yep. This is not good. Oh, is it broken? I've only... I haven't even worked here a full day and already everything's fucked. Radio distress. We have a we have a we have a non-functioning. Is the power out? Okay. Oh, what the? I'll just stare at the horizon myself. Ah! Tree jump scare. Um, fuck, there is a ship nearby. Is there? I need to get the lamp running. Wh where do you see that, my dude? Is that what that light is supposed to represent? Okay. People are gonna die. I love your voice. It's so monotone. I mean, I'm, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just me. Um... I have been told by viewers, if you were here long enough, you can hear emotion in my voice. Some say it's a placebo. Well, how do I get it working? Do I just like bang it? This should do the trick. Ha! Huh. Chaos control! Let's see if that worked. I would love a run button. I can never tell if walking slow is a decision made for uh, realism or for spooky immersion. But I'm never happy with it. I need to move quick. I got shit to do. Like Sonic the Hedgehog. Move fast, eat ass. The lamp is working again. Yeah, I hope that boat has time to turn. Probably not. Uh, where even was it? I definitely don't see it. Where is the ship? Yeah, that's what, that's what I was thinking. I, I could see it before. There was like a, a red light. Oh. What was that? Somebody here? Hello? Oh. Yeah, what, the, what he said. I said that first. What the hell? Why are there footprints? Oh, why are they bloody? Oh, jeez, man. Uh, they're leading outside, so. Oh. Hello. Can I move? I have to tell someone. Tell them what? There's nothing here. You lunatic. The gameplay shouldn't be frozen, so... It sounds like an issue. Alright, 
let's call the radio. Huh? The radio's not working. Fuck. Ooh. What's the door? Um. Okay. I don't know, I don't really have any object. I would just go back to bed, man. I don't know. Oh, there's the ship again. I guess. She yeah, it's back, yeah. What's it doing over there? How can that be? What the hell? Is it again one of the fuses? It might be. Press F to use the flashlight. Yeah, I... <laughs> I got the hang of that, thank you. Oh. <laughs> what? It just, like, broke in front of me. This is irreparable. I think it was supposed to have done that before I walked over. Who the hell did this? Yeah, fuck you. I need to leave this island immediately. All right. Good thing we have a boat. Don't worry about the ship full of people that's probably gonna crash. Just get yourself out of this island. I feel like with a bit more setup and time, you know, sort of like Voices of the Void, it's just, it's the only example I can think of that's done this sort of thing well. If I was here for a while, and again, you know, this is, this is a small indie thing that was made in a few days. So I could see this becoming something if you were to, like, flesh out, you know, you, you get used to working at the lighthouse, you gotta, like, do stuff. You see some ships come by, it slowly gets creepier. That would be cool. Like, expand this idea. So I like the idea that's here. Where is my boat? I ate it. Jump scare? Uh, kind of. Hello. <laughs> you look like a thumb. Okay. Thanks for playing, yeah. Every small, every small horror game that was in this inter probably ends with a jump scare. I like the, I like the vibes. I think there's something there if they move away. I'm not explaining the game footage to you vocally. I'm sorry, your internet does not work. Um. I think the last thing I have before we move to Crow Country. Could you give us a quick visual TLDR? Yeah, sure. Um, you start working at a spooky island. And you go there. And you, you're like, whoa, this is cool. You wake up in the middle of the night and you're like, whoa, uh, fuck, I, I overslept for my second day at work. I must be majorly depressed. I don't know why I took this job alone on an island. And then you get uh, jump scared by somebody in a white coat that looks like a thumb, and they kill you. And then it says, thank you for playing. Glad I could help you, chat member. No. Thunder and lightning ain't so frightening. <sighs> Um, the one I'm currently trying to launch, let's see if it does, it's called Fear Forget. Is it going to run? Hello? Out of the, out of the, um, a game about Alzheimer's, I see. Out of the ones I downloaded that looked interesting, these are all the ones that, uh, didn't, that downloaded correctly or opened correctly. Some of them just wouldn't open. Sometimes when I download stuff from itch.io, it doesn't download correctly, which is strange. 
This game also has a lighthouse. <laughs> so that's interesting. What is this resolution? Oh, no, that's not a resolution issue. The, the title is just up in the top left of the screen. Okay. Yeah, that's just how this looks. Cool. Do you remember that place we always used to visit? It was an island we'd all go to. Oh, yeah, Silent Hill. A lighthouse, maybe. I'm not really sure, but I just remember the place being magical. Wish we could go back there. I remember that place sometimes. I dream of that. Sometimes, in my dreams, I remember in that place. Sometimes I, in my dreams, sometimes I, in my place, I remember that Silent Hill. Oh, that's, that's a nice crunchy walking sound. I see that place sometimes. In my dreams of cheese. Fuck is a murder cake? <laughs> Let's watch TV. Okay. It's here. Stage two, she was diagnosed. Oh. Okay. That progressed quickly. Just like the rapid onset of dementia. Sorry, Alzheimer's. She doesn't know Teehee. The actual ambience in the game cuts out when the footstep sound plays. Okay. Do you hear a cat? I'm afraid to press escape to try to look at the settings, but I'm gonna do it. There is a cat. Hello? Kitty? Felix. Oh. Felix? Felix, where are you? I think the implication is we we found the kitty and picked them up. is a game. Yeah. Look, I just, I gotta go. I gotta go with the entries. I went with the ones that sounded like they might be interesting. What was that sound? It's the cat again. Felix? Kitty Poo? Where? Oh. Cool. Alright. There was just a bloody splatter on the ground. I didn't even get to see it. Hello? Hey, what's up, man? You want to go to Taco Bell? Hey, stop hiding from me. Fucking coward. Yeah, you. Fucking bitch. 
Oh, come on. All right. So I, I, I guess this is supposed to represent how you forget things like your pets are dead or people are gone. And it's scary to suddenly realize they are. Um. What? I just went inside. Oh, apparently I didn't. Goldfish, no. Here's a key, now come and find me. Alright. Look, I'm doing my best. I don't, I don't want to laugh at everything. I just, I just try to be... I just try to say what I feel as it happens. And again, this one feels like it has a lot more effort put into it than some of the other ones. Oh, apparently the key's not for that door. It's not that key. Who's leaving notes? No idea. Presumably the other voice in the intro. Classic aerial font. Hey, do you remember me? I'm, I'm your dog. dog. You're my dog? You know, these are very nice for stuff made during a jam. I mean, even if these games were like professional AAA things, I'd probably still be laughing. I just. My reaction to things trying to scare me is to laugh, because I have mental issues, I guess. Trauma, that's what it's called. You can hear the computer fan in the background, yeah. And you know what's funny? I've heard, I've heard, um... I was playing a game called Dread Templar, because uh, I got a key for it, I mentioned this. Um, I'm not gonna, uh, it's, it's alright, but um, it's pretty fun. There's stuff I don't like about it. However, there's some voice acting at the start of each episode. It just sounds like some guy that they were like, hey, can you go, can you, can you give us some voice lines? We need like lines for our video game. We forgot to voice the scenes. And he was like, yeah, sure, hang on. And then he went into the janitor's closet and whispered silently into a microphone all of his recorded lines. And this is like a, like a, like a, like a $10 game or I don't know how much it costs on Steam. So, or, you know, even like, Games in the 90s that were, like, full-priced games for the computer had, you know, like Silent Hill and Resident Evil. Voice acting is a skill. Why is it running so terribly? Bro couldn't wake his parents. Yeah, it's like when I get quiet at night because I don't want to wake up my roommates. Even though I'm not going to. The janitor closet. Yeah, it all comes back around to control. Oh. Why is the FPS... Why is this game running so terribly now? Does the fog represent my progressing Alzheimer's? Deteriorating my brain? I don't remember the path to this other house being as long. Oh, hey, new key. New key just dropped. Uh, maybe? Can I, can I have it, please? Come here. There we go. The <laughs> fog represents the massive memory leak. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Let's see. So this game is taking up very low usage of all, all things on my computer. It's taking up almost no processing power of any kind. So it, again, makes me question why it's running like this. I wonder if... What? Pardon me? What did you say? What did she say? Probably done intentionally, maybe. Everything not by me. Okay. Uh, I feel like maybe they ran out of time. 
flashing lights warning. Yeah, I didn't see any flashing lights. That was confusing. Um, that was all right. It was neat. I like that. Um, I wish I had been able to get the VR one working. I'm tempted to try it again, if I'm being honest. But I probably shouldn't. Oh, hang on, there was one more thing. There was there was exactly one more thing. Uh, it's called Pumpkin Graveyard. Oh, the zip file is corrupted for some reason. Cool. I'll just re-download it really quick. It's already a scuff stream, who cares? If you were to check some of these out, I'm sure some of them are actually probably very, very good. I wouldn't be surprised if there's at least one thing in here that's just like amazing and just your type of thing. And I'm looking forward to seeing the winners of the uh, Scream Jam which ends in four hours. So I, I would like to check out the first, second, and third place winners some other day. Um, not right now. Because I don't, I don't, if I'm still streaming in four hours, then I might do that, yeah. But hopefully I'm not <laughs> still streaming in four hours. Uh... Did that finish downloading again? Yeah. Okay, there we go. Last one, and then we're going to check out the Crow Country demo, and maybe something else, depending on how long the Crow Country demo is. Uh, people who also watch Yosh may have seen Yosh play Crow Country, and I didn't know about it until he recommended I try check it out. I was like, okay. Seems like the perfect kind of thing to check out on a mystery meet. Um, boink. This one looked somewhat promising. Released pumpkin souls zero. Required souls to attack five. Maximum pumpkin souls. Take back everything I said. Find a flashlight to navigate through the night. Find a lighter to light up pumpkins. Light up pumpkins to gain strength. Eliminate all the evil ghosts of this world. How to play. Get a flashlight and lighter and navigate through the dark. Free the souls of carved pumpkins. Gain strength and shoot at the evil that lives on the map. They like to interact with their environment and create chaos. Okay. Uh, options. Yes. Two languages. Neat. Oh. The start menu is just like a pause menu. That's kind of... Ugh. Since... Can I... Nope. That's just the sensitivity I gotta deal with. Can't look straight down. Can I full screen this? No? Okay. Can I... Uh, it's got, got a retro shooter thing going on here. Can't look straight up or down. A knife? Once again, nice, crunchy, louder than everything else footsteps. I get... I, uh, this is a common thing that I just don't like. That I see happen a lot. With, hmm. With uh, smaller games. I mean, even Minecraft does it. Why do, why do you need your footstep sounds to be so loud? I don't find it, like, particularly immersive. If anything, I just... Oh, it's a lot of knives. I find it a bit irritating. Yeah. Um... Hello. What? Okay, bye. Are these the evil spirits? Oh, this flashlight is weird. It, like, the flashlight itself flickers on and off, and you have, like, another flashlight that's always on in front of you.
Especially when it's just one type of sound for all surfaces. Yeah. Um, like even even when I was playing Silent Hill 2, some of the, the like the footstep stuff, it was nice because you know each material had its own thing, but some of it got a bit loud. But it was never like as loud as a lot of other games do, I guess. Oh, thank God, another flashlight. I don't know. I am. Um, oh, this seems to change. Silent Hill 2 can be a bit loud in general. Yeah. It's 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 from early the early age of game development, so. D am I dual wielding flashlights? <laughs> oh. What was that? I had like two flashlights active. The pumpkin. It's the great pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Yep, look, there we go. Two flashlights. Okay, I'm trying to find a lighter or something. You know what? Here, let me just equip my lighter. That's probably a safer. Um, there we go. Can I have this, please. Does the light coming from my left hand represent that I already have a lighter? Oh, Q turns on this, F turns this on. Light up pumpkins to gain strength, sure. Um, Is there controls? You, no, you don't want to tell me the controls. Uh, hang on. Pumpkin. Pumpkin graveyard. Here we go. Look, I ended. I re-downloaded this one, so I would like to check it out. Regarding lighter, it's not that far from spawn screenshot to see if you can just hit. Uh, controls, interact with items, E, interact with offhand left, main hand right. Yeah, you know what, sure, whatever. Try it one more time. Oh, the lighter is right here the whole time. Okay, where's a jack o -liner? Interact. E. There we go. I did it. Alright. Good. Zombie ghosts leave this place. Oh shit. He fucking threw me in the air. Hey. Not cool. Uh, there you go. There you go. Souls required to attack. Five. Okay. I can attack now. How do I? How do I attack? Uh. All right. Good game. Um. Yeah. I've I don't think there's much here, is there? Nine out of fifteen. Oh, that can't be too hard, right? Wait, are they turn? Are they are they putting the lights of the pumpkins out as I turn them on? Cause that'd be a real dick move. You know what's scary? What's scary? Tell me. Tell me what's so spooky. 
What do I need to know? Hello, Naito. I've done it. I just realized this wasn't Crow Country. See, <laughs> so yeah, it's not. Harmonica? No, that's not scary. You see, I threw my harmonica in a, in a blender, so actually I can't currently do harmonica gag, sorry. Yeah, they're turning off the pumpkins. How do I attack? What do you mean? Do the Mario's! <laughs> Why would Yosh recommend this? Yeah, it's not often he recommends me a game, and I don't often even care when he recommends me a game, if I'm being honest. Um, or when anyone recommends me a game, to be fair. But when I looked at this one, it actually did seem like something I would end up playing on my own. Okay, well, that was some Scream Jam 2023 games that looked interesting to me. Most of them uh, were not. But hey, pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Made in like three days. Uh, here, you know what? I'll read the whole thing for you, actually. Did that spook you? Um, let's see, from the 17th to the 24th. So that is... That's about a week. So yeah, these, these games were all made in a week or less. Um, which is cool. And everything made during this jam had to be, you know, all the assets were supposed to have been or the uh, developed for this during the period of the game jam. Yeah. All right. Well, hopefully I'll actually enter that next year because I think that would be fun.